have to stylish Nigerian YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Thank you for your love and for your support. Okay, guys, so if you are new to the channel, this is the first time of you coming across Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. You are highly and very welcome. And if you have not subscribed, please hit on the subscribe button on the side and then also hit the notification bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, so all of my returning subscribers, thank you all for supporting Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I really don't take it for granted. I appreciate each and every one of you that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Okay, so you can also follow me in all of my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, all at Stylish Niger. If you want to register for our online classes, you can see the number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available so that is all of the information that we have to pass out before beginning our tutorial for today okay so guys in today's um lesson today's class i'm going to be showing you how to cut a flounce so you can see the picture up there so flounce are something that once you know how to cut and sew a flounce you can use it for any design of your choice you can use them for sleeves you can use them for your for your bodies for the main parts of your bodies you can use them on garments you can use them on skirts so you can actually use just knowing how to cut and sew a flounce that's what matters so today's video that's what we are going to be doing for beginners that really don't that sometimes it can get confusing yeah so that's what we are going to be doing today so i have my crinoline which is like a major um let me not use grammar which is like a major material yeah that is needed to cut a flounce yeah you need a crinoline so i have this crinoline here you can use any crinoline of your choice any it depends on how, how thick it is that is how structured your flounce will be so this one that I have here is about 3 inches. So you have some for 2 inches. You have some that are 6 inches. You can even join them. Depends on how wide the flounce will be. Okay, so now let's get started. So the flounce that we're going to be doing today, we're not going to be using... Most times, the truth is, when I cut flounce, I really don't use any major measurements. You understand? I just used to use my free hand to free hand it and cut it. If it is not enough, I'll cut more. So that's just the truth. Sometimes when it comes to sewing, I don't like all of all these mathematical kind of sewing it's if you have been following me you know that my sewing are not like that i try as much as possible to make it very simple for you so that's it so that's what i'm, I'm going to be doing today so i have my satin here that i'm going to be making use of this is the dog face satin so i'll turn the back so it's leftover satin from um, the work that i'm doing so i'm not really using any particular so this is about two yards though so i'm just going to go ahead i'll open it up like this so it depends on how wide i want my my flounce to be so before i cut out since i'm doing using freehand before i cut out i can always eyeball it from here and then i can also after drawing it i can still measure it and then see how long it is so that's that so i'll need to reset the camera and then we'll begin so I have my, my fabric spread out now. So what I'm going to do now, I'll try and get from this workspace that I'm making use of, I'll try as much as I can to get the, the center. So this is the center of what I'm working with. I'll come a little bit upward. So that one I just came because this part is not very long. So that is why. Okay. So from this part, you just take any point of your choice, you understand? So literally, flounce, what we are going to be doing, this is just like this. Do you understand? That's just literally, just like draw a big circle. That's just what we are doing. So it's not like it is a big thing. So that bigness, you are going to measure how wide you want it to be. Uh -huh. So that's just... So I'm just going to draw it like this. So from here now to this point, that is how wide your flounce is going to be. So I have about 6 inches for me, which is okay. Flounce 5 inches, 6 inches are just like the best. So from this first point like this, once you measure like this, so all you are going to do is just make sure that you maintain that circle. Keep going. As you come like this, you measure. 
you understand so you can see my six inches it's because i've been doing this for a while so my hand is a little a, a little bit stable so that is why you see i can achieve it but just keep going and then you check just keep checking so this one is a little bit bigger than six inches so you can see I think I have more than enough. So you can see how big it is. Let me check it. Hope you can see it. So you can see how big what I just made now is. So this is a very simple way for you to check what you have. If you want to check the length of what you have, you're just going to take your tape like this and then you keep measuring around your flounce like this. So you measure around. So I must have a full tape here and then you continue. So if you feel it is too big, you don't need to cut up to that amount. So from here, you take the measurement of what you really want to, to get. So I can say I don't have more than enough. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut now. So I'm not going to cut. So I'm going to cut up to, I think I'm going to cut up to this point. It's really big. So I'll just go ahead and I'll put on that center part, I'll put a notch here. And we're going to just go ahead and cut along the line. Hope you can see it. Okay, guys, so you can see I finished cutting it and it really looks beautiful. Really cool. So, the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to go and stick. So, it depends on what you want. If you are going to be using the same satin, if you want to use the same satin to turn it, all you are going to do is you can decide to fold your satin two into two before cutting so you have both the lining. But if you are using normal, regular lining to turn it, you can go ahead and do that. Just cut the same thing. So now I'm just going to, so you can see how really beautiful this spiral it is looking and it is very long. So we're going to move over to the sewing machine now to stitch it. Okay guys, so we're going to start stitching now. Okay guys, so we're going to start stitching now. So I have my my flounce here. So I'm going to take the lining and the fabrics. I'll place them like this together and then I'm going to take make sure that they are the same. And then I'll take my crinoline also. I'll place it here. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to sew it around. But I'm not going to. I'm not going to pull as I sew. I'll just sew it easily. Okay, guys. So I finished teaching it. So this and part. This is the part where we have the tips. So I'm going to trim it. So for the tip, you can trim it however, any design you want to put, any shape or hand, you can just do it however you want. So mine, I want it to be slim, just like what we have on the picture. So I'll just trim it to be slim like that. So you see, I finished trimming it. The next thing I'm going to come, I'm going to take your 
you're working place like this and then you're going to turn it so you're going to top stitch you're going to top stitch on your lining so the, since i'm using the same fabric so you can just choose any one that you feel is not you can check it and then top stitch so i think i'm going to top stitch on this one here i'll use this one here as my lining so i'm going to just go ahead i'll do a top stitch on it like this so as you top stitch it make sure you open it up and make sure that your, your stitch is, is straight so after top stitching I'll join it on the top part. So you see how beautiful it is looking. You understand? Okay, guys. So you can see after stitching, this is what we have. Okay. So you can see how beautiful it's looking inside. So this part now, I'm going to start stitching it down to how I want want it to be so you make sure you open it up or make sure that there's no excess the front part is looking all smooth and nice looking like this as you go along as you stitch along don't pull because of the crinoline inside so you can see how beautiful so when I'm done I'm going to trim it and then you will see the final look of what we've got there. You can see how beautiful she's looking. Okay, so guys, I'm done. So the next thing now, you can see how beautiful my flowers is looking. I really like the outcome. The next thing now is just for me to trim out all of the um, Just trim it out neatly and then I'll place it on my mannequin for you to see. You can flounce, you can actually arrange it however you want on your dress or your body. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, you can see how our flounce looks like. So it really came out really beautiful. So it depends on how you want to place it. So you can actually place it however you want. So I just did mine spirally like the one on the picture. So after that, you just use your, you can decide to use a hand stitch. It's always better to use a hand stitch too fix this on your dress and then you can cover all of those edges with your applique so thank you so much if you find this video helpful please i would appreciate if you hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to stylish Nigeria youtube channel thank you so much i'll see you in my next video